240 cubic miles of magma have been discovered underneath the dormant California supervolcano, which is basically a neighbor to Yellowstone. Scientists have discovered 240 cubic miles of semi-molten magma below the Long Valley Caldera, a supervolcano in eastern California near Mammoth Mountain. Uh, this is the, of course, the magma, the cubic miles of semi-molten magma, of course, right around the area, or sitting on top of the area of the liquid carbon lake. Going back to the Long Valley Caldera supervolcano, some 240 cubic miles worth of magma sat deep below the Long Valley Caldera. Researchers reported in the journal Geology, but that does not mean it's about to erupt or anything like the scale it has in the past. The supervolcano erupted over six days about 760,000 years ago, coating the surrounding 30 miles of land in hot ash and shooting volcanic material as far as Nebraska, the team wrote. After experiencing smaller eruptions, it has stayed dormant for the last 100,000 years or so. Today, the 20 mile long valley caldera lies on the spot. Gradual uplift at the center of the caldera garnered significant interest over the last 40 years. But until this latest study, scientific understanding of what lay beneath the surface was really patchy. More than 20 studies found small features a few miles down, a larger one deep underground, study author Ashton Flinders of the U.S. Geological Survey told New Scientist, quote, This has left a bit of a shadow zone in the mid-crust where the shallow studies cannot see the deeper studies tend to blur anything they do see, end quote. That's what he said. Flinders and his team created a 3D image of the rocks used using seismic data collected over the past 26 years by stations up to 100 miles from the caldera. Their data suggest a huge store of magma lies in the previously obscured region. Because less than half of the magma is thought to be molten, it's very unlikely to see the kind of supervolcano eruption of 760,000 years ago. Flinder's team believe only about 27% of the magma is liquid. But smaller regions of the supervolcano may be closer to the 50% melt threshold, which means normal-sized eruptions are theoretically possible. Quote, I imagine there could be smaller eruptions, and indeed they are the most likely, end quote, Robert White at the University of Cambridge, UK, told New Scientists, quote, but there has not been anything for a very long time, end quote. Meanwhile, scientists recently discovered Wyoming's famous Yellowstone supervolcano may have formed not by a plume of magma rising up through cracks in Earth's crust, but by the fracturing of a massive slab of oceanic crust underneath part of the North American continent. In other words, we're talking about the oceanic crust, the Pacific Oceanic Crust. In other words, the Cascadia subduction zone that's going underneath the North Atlantic Plate. That's where we recently saw the 6.2 magnitude at the Juan de Fuca. So what the geologists are saying is that the Cascadia subduction zone definitely has an effect on the Long Valley Caldera supervolcano. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on 
not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.